What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out some updates for its applications and I thought I will keep you guys posted about this. I will tell you what are the new changes and features that got added with these new updates for the applications. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Let's go to the Galaxy Store here. I'll tap on Update Apps. As you can see, we have got four different updates here. One is for Samsung One UI Home, Samsung News, not that important. Good log, we've got something new added over here and camera assistant, no new changes, but we do have an update. Now the first important update is of course the Samsung One UI Home application. The latest version is 70.0.06.1 update date is just a couple of days ago but I have got this update today size is 33.31 MB now there is nothing mentioned in the change log however this is an important update because if you are facing any issues with your uh, home screen the Samsung One UI home launcher application this update should fix them let's go ahead and update this it's done. Now the Samsung One UI Home is the home launcher that you have on your Galaxy phone. If you're facing any issues with the animations here, app opening and closing animations, scrolling animations, quick panel status or lags, all these issues should get resolved with this brand new update to the uh, Samsung One UI Home application. So go ahead and update it. Now Samsung News, there is nothing mentioned in the change log here as well. Let me just update this. Uh, then comes the GoodLock application. Here there is something new added. Let me tell you what it is. Now you can see the latest version is 3.0.14.1 and in the uh, update details here you can see the latest update was received on 26th of September. For some reason, these updates get delayed in some of the countries, but this was initially released on 26th September. Size is 19.64 MB. Now, let me take you through the change log here. It's a bit interesting. The first one is what's new now shows only the changes for the version being updated. We usually see what's new section whenever we get an update to the uh, GoodLock applications. As you can see, this is the what's new section here and we have got the version number and changes here. Now this section will now only show changes for the version being updated. So if there is any changes for a different version, it is not going to show it right here. That is what they mean, but it is a bit difficult to explain it to you guys here in this video, but this is what it is. The next one is interesting. This is added detailed remove options when long pressing the application icon on the GoodLock apps screen. Now I have figured this out. Let me tell you where exactly this is. Now GoodLock app screen is nothing but the widget that GoodLock application offers let me show you that uh, let's go to uh, let me just press on hold on the home screen here tap on widgets and let's search for good lock widgets now this is the good lock apps widget now we've got two widgets here as you can see we have the good lock app widget here I'll add this on the home screen now here okay I have already added it over here uh, let me just clear these stuffs now let me just open this as you can see this is kind of a launcher or let's say a folder within which we have got all the good lock applications now here, when I press and hold on an app icon, nothing happens here, but when I uh, remove my finger here, you can see it, may, it will take me to the application. But when you press and hold on it, nothing shows up, no pop-ups over here. But with this new update, we do get some options with the pop-up. Let me show you that. Let's go ahead and update the application. I've tried this on the S25 Ultra, so I'm able to tell you in advance what is gonna happen. So let me open the uh, app widget here. Let me tap on this. Now let's press and hold on the app icon. As you can see, we have got details and uninstall page. Now, if you want to see the details of a specific application within this widget, you can straight away go to this page here. And if you want to uninstall it right from this folder, you can do that as well. So that is something new here with GoodLock's uh, new update. Uh, and then we also have a bug fix here. As you can see, stability improvements and bug fix fixes, it says. This is the new update we have received for GoodLock application. And then comes the camera assistant. It just talks about all the uh, you know supported models here. But what I read is uh, camera assistant did remove the 3D video recording feature, which recently they added, but that was meant for the VR headset. And they did add that feature on the camera assistant module, but then it seems that they have removed it I'm not able to see that particular 3D recording feature, 3D video recording feature on camera assistant. So these are some important updates we have got for the Samsung Galaxy phones. Uh, do go ahead and check this out. Uh, this may not be available for everyone or in every country, but if it is available, go ahead and update your applications. Two apps are important, the GoodLock app, because it adds a new feature, may or may not be useful, but yeah, we do get some new features there. And then the home application, the home launcher, one UI home launcher, which is an important update because if you're facing any issues with the home launcher, this update should fix it. 
That's about it. If you're interested in this home screen wallpaper, it's available on Wallverse. You can go ahead and check it out. Uh, there are some beautiful collections as well. Uh, if you want to get rid of the advertising, you can go ahead and uh, you know buy a premium version of this application, or you can continue to use the free version. And we also reduced the ad frequency on the free version. Earlier, the ad was popping up on every fifth click, but now it is seventh click. So you can go ahead and use these free uh, wallpapers here on the free version of the application. But if you want premium, of course, you will have to go for a premium version of the app to download these wallpapers or you can watch the advertisements. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.